friends, this is the Miss Volpe from our Half Acre Homestead. No, this isn't a tea break. This is a trauma break. I had a very dear, very, very dear friend email me. Actually, she phoned me and sent me a copy of a letter authorizing me to read it out loud using the person's name over a 12 pound dog. Now, why do I say 12 pound dog? It is a dachshund terrier mix, very small dog. As a matter of fact, my pug pup Frankie is 19 pounds and she is not even a full year old yet. Okay, so picture how small this dog had to be. Now, apparently they were having some problems with a, some reoccurring problems with a neighbor and harassment issues. And they had called the police uh, again. Now, the deputy came to the door and was talking to this lady's husband about the issue of the harassment. The deputy then asked, could he speak to the, 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 the wife, the lady? Now, she opened the door to come and talk to the deputy and their little terrier, their little 12 pound dog got out and was running around, I guess the deputy's feet and yapping and whatever. And she was in 30 seconds, the dog got out, was running around the feet of the deputy and running around. And she said to her daughter, go get the dog. And she wanted the deputy to come in, I guess, so she could talk while her daughter went and got the dog. Now that's the normal way things would go. You'd say, hey, get that dog, right? But in the 30 seconds between her opening the door, the dog getting out, and her daughter going to grab the puppy or grab the dog, 30 seconds, the deputy pulled out his gun and shot the dog in full view of both children within 10 feet, probably, of the little girl that was trying to catch it. And everybody's in shock because, A, why the hell did he shoot a 12-pound dog? B, it was yappy, not biting. And C, he had other options. He could have pepper sprayed the dog, which I wouldn't do, but he could have pepper sprayed the dog. Or he could have said, or he could have stepped inside the door and let the little girl catch the dog. Or he could have said, lady, get the dog or I'm going to shoot it. None of those three things happened. Dog, the door opened, the dog went out. The mom said, go get the dog. And before the kid could even get the dog, the dog was dead. With a hollow point bullet. A hollow point means the tip of the bullet has been hollowed out so that when it hits the target, the point, there's no point, so it doesn't go straight through. What happens is when it hits the target, it creates a percussion that causes the bullet to explode on the inside. My point is, it is meant to drop the target in its tracks, like a deer, not a 12 pound puppy. And when I say puppy, I know it's a full grown dog, but it's 12 pounds pounds. Okay. 12 pounds. Let's not even talk about the fact that he shot a family pet that was only 12 pounds. He shot it in full view of everybody, including the children, including the 13 year old that was dispatched to go get the dog. It blows my mind. So my question is, why the hell did he have to shoot the dog? Not only, like, I, I, I'm still can't get this through my head. Why did he have to shoot the dog? The dog wasn't biting. It was yappy. The dog was small. It wasn't biting. And somebody was already dispatched to grab the dog. So in my, you know, and, and they are authorized to unholster their firearm and shoot a dog if it is deemed a threat, a serious threat. 
like a Rottweiler. Oh, f sorry, I know Rottweilers, they're babies. Like a big old friggin' Dalmatian. Those things are mean. Like, you know, I a big dog. I can understand it. And still, I would have said, give me a second to catch my dog. And I would have grabbed it by the collar. Okay? I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm going to put a link to the article as well as the interview. And I'm going to read you the letter that was sent to my friend Gloria. Um, this is my friend Gloria's cousin. My name is Kelly Sullivan. I live outside, and oh, by the way, I have permission to use her name and read this letter out loud. I live outside city limits of Ville Platte. I'm writing because I want to bring to light a tragic event that happened at my home this past Saturday. My husband called the EPSO concerning an incident with a former neighbor who has been harassing him. After the deputy took the statements from my husband and the former neighbor, he asked to speak to me. As I walked out of my door, my son's dog, a 12-pound dachshund rat terrier mix, got out and started barking at the deputy. She was the true definition of an ankle biter, small but fierce, lots of noisy yapping. Annoyed with her familiar actions, I asked my 13-year-old daughter to help catch her so I could talk to the officer. She started running around to catch the dog. That's when I noticed that the deputy had drawn his gun. And as my daughter and son looked on, he shot our small dog in the head with a hollow point bullet. I estimate the amount of time from when he got out to the shot was less than 30 seconds. He did not give a warning, did not order us to get your dog, which my daughter was obviously trying to do. I cannot express how traumatizing this was for our family. You think? And we are left with so many unanswered questions. Why did he have to shoot her? Why didn't he kick her or use pepper spray or give us time to catch her? I was holding the door to my home open so we could move inside and talk while my daughter caught the dog. Why did he choose such a dangerous way to deal with this low-risk situation with my family in such close proximity? After the shooting, my eight-year-old son was shaking so violently that I had to hold him tightly just to calm him down. This was his baby. He asked Santa for a dog two Christmases ago, but mom didn't want a dog. He was so sure Santa had brought him one that he searched the empty yard over and over. Broken hearted, mom relented and got him his puppy. This was not some stray. This was a fully vetted family pet that has just come out of our home. She was small, barely 12 pounds, hardly a threat to the large man. And after it happened, he actually told us that it was a shame he had to waste such an expensive bullet. How insensitive. We were in crisis mode with crying children, and this guy is bemoaning the loss of a bullet. He also said that him shooting our dog was better than him having to sue us for her biting him. You just discharged your weapon within feet of my daughter, <clears throat> and you're talking about a lawsuit? This, is, this was a truly bizarre situation. Surreal. I know some will say it's just a dog, and that's true. We love them like family, but they are only animals. My concern is less about the dog and more about this officer's judgment. What would he do in a truly threatening situation? Just grab his gun immediately? My husband, daughter, and I were very close when he shot. What if something had gone wrong and he'd shot one of us. Why or oh why did he choose a gun? Don't mistake us for gun control advocates. My husband has his concealed carry and exercises his right daily. It is the lack of control, not the inanimate gun that we are concerned about. We're broken. My kids are left with a distorted and confusing view of law enforcement. As days pass, I feel more and more angry and helpless. I know in my heart he didn't have to shoot her. She wasn't a German shepherd or a pit bull. 
a 12 pound dog, 12 pounds. She did get loose and was barking at him, but in my opinion, did not pose a substantial threat to the deputy or anyone around. I believe that everyone in the parish should be concerned about the judgment of this officer who is patrolling the streets of our parish. I'm writing to you because I know, no, excuse me, I'm writing to you because I don't know who else to tell, and I feel like people need to know. Sincerely, Kelly Sullivan. Well, folks, as I said, I will put the link to the article and the interview in the show more info box below. But this is a perfect example. This is a perfect example about guns don't shoot. People shoot guns. And a law enforcement officer should have, uh, maybe he was afraid of dogs. And in that case, the guy shouldn't be on the job because he reacted improperly to a non-threatening situation. Uh, he was afraid that they, he said, well, it's better than me suing you for a dog bite. Mm. I hope you didn't just give those people a really good idea, officer. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our half acre homestead saying, what is wrong with people? Take care. God bless. Keep your dogs. Whenever you answer the door, folks, keep your dogs within reach.